We're very fortunate today to have uh, with us uh, Lloyd LePage, who is the uh, CEO of the new CGIAR consortium. As most of you know, uh, through my various presentations over the past uh, few years, uh, the CGIAR has been going through a major reform process, a change process. So what I would like to do is invite Lloyd up to the, to the podium here. He can share some of his thoughts, observations, uh, and then uh, take some questions before we move on to the, uh, to the, uh, the second speaker. So Lloyd? I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Ziegler uh, in particular for the invitation to come here uh, and to participate in, in the uh, monitoring and evaluation workshop. Uh, we're really excited to be part of, of um, this, this new initiative. And Erie really has led the way and set the, the standard. Uh, and many of you have been involved with, uh, and I'm sure are exhausted, uh, with all the work that has gone into developing GRISP um, and, and many of the initiatives. And we're really excited that it was one of the very first, um, or I would say the first, uh, CRP, CGIR research program that was, that was approved and launched. Um, and we're working very hard to make sure that the funding is flowing as rapidly as possible. I'd also like to thank uh, Dr. Doberman uh, also for, for his invitation to, to, to participate in the workshop. And again, ERI has been leading the way um, and we hope to learn a lot uh, from, from the workshop uh, this week uh, that we can apply um, to, to other CRPs uh, and to be able to, to share uh, how that might uh, best uh, be an example for the future. <coughs> Erie has really become an example not only for the Philippines but also for the sub-region and as we extend out into partnerships now through, through GRISP also with, with the close relationship we have with the African Rice uh, Center and with SIAT we're really excited to, to be part of that um, and that, that you are leading the way in that partnership and we would encourage you to continue. Yesterday and in, in this previous week I also had the opportunity to, to visit uh, some of the exciting developments that we've seen in the, in the drought uh, screening that you're doing in the field. Uh, great to see that, some of the, the salt tolerant work uh, and also the, the flood tolerant work. And again, you know, Erie is leading the way um, in terms of looking at new innovation and how that might um, not only be brought into the CGIR, but then also delivered uh, to farmers um, and into farmers fields um, and maximizing that global access. How are we doing in terms of getting the 15 centers to work together? It's a learning process. Uh, I think a lot of the history of the past is that centers have worked together in the past. Um, and we need to encourage and identify those areas of success that have been out there. Uh, there is a matter of building trust. Uh, we need to you know, be able to build trust uh, not only between the centers amongst themselves, but also between the centers and the consortium, uh, consortium office. Um, that you know we're on your side um, we might make mistakes um, but help us to understand those mistakes and help us to understand where we can improve so you know I think the CRP process the, the proposal process has already gone a long way in helping centers to work together um, it's achieved if nothing else it's already achieved a lot of successes uh, just by that factor alone there's scientists that are talking today that were never talking in the past between centers or, or we're talking on a very limited uh, basis. You know, we're seeing that much more in depth now than we were before. Um, we're encouraging that at uh, not only the board levels, but uh, the DG levels with myself, and also the scientist levels, the finance folks, the, the, you know, the, the, the other communications we talked about before. So again, at all levels, uh, we need to strengthen and those and build those bridges between, between centers. So I, I would say that we're, we're making progress, but it's going to take quite some time uh, until we really have a, a very powerful and strong um, connection between the centers. 